Hello all. Uh, a couple of months back, a uh, viewer requested that I do a dual boot uh, video with uh, Windows 8.1 and Arch Linux, and specifically Arch Linux on a separate hard drive. Okay, so I'll go through this uh, process of how you would dual boot in that way, and I'll go through installing Arch Linux as well. It's quite a lengthy process. It's not too difficult. It just takes a little while, especially uh, some of the configurations and uh, downloading, of course, uh, depends on your internet connection. So with that said, um, if you just have Windows and you don't have Linux installed of any kind and you download the Arch Linux ISO from archlinux.org, I would recommend burning it to a DVD or a CD-ROM. Um, RW uh, is uh, probably the best method, but just a regular DVD will work. And uh, obviously, if you know uh, Linux fairly well, you know how to uh, place Arch Linux onto a USB drive, which is a faster way of doing things. But for now, if you're not sure, just burn it to a disk, okay? So just pretend <laughs> this is virtual machine. And I'm going to insert the Arch Linux ISO, which would be simulated as a disk. And sometimes Windows will pop up, and sometimes it won't. Okay. Usually it does. I'll go to Explorer. And you'll see that the Arch Linux ISO is there. Okay. So I'll just, uh, I'll just right click on the Start menu and just restart. And we should be booting to the Arch Linux. Um, CD, live CD, rescue, whatever you want to call it. And there we are. And uh, I'll zoom in a bit here. So we want the first option, but what you can do if you're trying this out in a virtual machine is press tab and right under, right here where it says archiso.img, just press the space and type in something like VGA equals 791 be approximately 1024 by 768 okay and then just press enter and it will continue booting into the Arch Linux uh, live environment okay so here we are it's, it's a bit larger than you would see normally in virtual box so you want to make sure you're connected to the internet so uh, one thing that you use a lot in Arch Linux is a uh, to get your programs and everything is Pac-Man, Package Manager. So Pac, P-A-C, M-A-N, and then to sync it, uh, dash, capital S, and then two Ys. And you can see, obviously, there's an internet connection. If you don't, if you're using a wireless, you would have to run something like Wi-Fi, dash, menu, and obviously, I don't, this the virtual boss not, is not connected up to wireless. That's why I'm getting this. Um, invalid argument but if you have wireless that should pick it up and you can pick from your network and type in your password and, and so on okay just to make that clear that up and uh, if you want the font a bit larger you don't have to do this just optional but I just find it a little easier to work with is set font and there's a ton of them I'm going to choose set font ISO ISO, uh, zero, just no space there, zero two, then a, then a hyphen, and then uh, 12, and then X, or 22, and press enter. Okay, so a little larger. Okay, so now we know we have the internet connected. We have to uh, see which hard drive is being picked up um, to install Arch Linux on. So just issue F disk. A space dash L and you see here is a disk SDA 25 gigs if you look here it says SDA 1 um, NCFS that's Windows so if you go down just below that it says uh, DEV SDB and that's the hard drive we want to install Arch Linux on I've all allocated 10 gigabytes of space okay so I'll clear the screen back to the top 
And again, it's F disk. I think it's the safest way, especially with a solid state drive if you have one. F disk slash DEV slash SDB. Okay. Now I'm not going to set up a swap or a home partition or anything. I'm just going to use the entire 10 gigs for Arch Linux. All right. So you press N for new. And there's only going to be one partition, so you just press enter for that. And keep just, just keep pressing enter so you get back to the uh, type M for help. And after that, just type W to write. And now it's been allocated for uh, partition 1. So we're going to make a file system. And the most popular one is extension 4. So it's MKFS, make file, sys file system, and a dot EXT for, no spaces, then a space, slash DEV SDB1. And it's finished. Now we just mount that, and in Arch Linux it's very simple, you just type the word mount. You press tab on a lot of, a lot of this stuff, like not just there, DEV SD, and you press tab there, it'll give you examples. So we want SDB1, and we're going to mount it to slash MNT, short form for mount. And if you want to ls, list out ls, slash MNT, you see there it's lost and found, which is what we want, okay? So now we have to pull up the bootstraps, so we use a, one command that you rarely are going to use is packstrap, P-A-C, S-T-R-A-P and out to slash MNT, the mounted file system, and the base of Arch Linux. And I usually get base dash D-E-V-L to install user repository um, programs. There's a lot of them actually that are really useful. And uh, there's other arguments you can have after PAX drop, like I to interact, but I'm just going to press enter and just let it synchronize the mirror list um to arch linux there's several mirrors all over the world um and uh it will download and install arch linux for us so i'll be uh, back uh when this is ready to go and move on to the next step